Are you qualified to discuss origin of life given that you don't directly work in the field of systems chemistry? First of all, as far as systems chemistry, based on the nanotechnology that we do, that's very, very analogous to systems chemistry. We have one piece working with another. What I'm pointing out is obvious to all synthetic chemists and is synthetic chemists that are working in these areas of origin of life because it's pre-biology. So when people say that this is just a straw man, this is nonsense. How can it be a straw man? I'm asking, how would you couple the two amino acids together? You wanna make proteins? How do you get the two amino acids to couple together when delta G is positive? You wanna heat that thing up? Well, what happens when you go through heating cycles and cooling cycles? Do the things racemize? You bet they do. How big polypeptides have you made through heating and cooling cycles? Oh, a 14 mer? That's not very big. And what happens is, how much racemization did you measure? Oh, you didn't measure it. So that's not their, their critique. You won't see origin of life people working in the area of origin of life saying Jim Tour doesn't know what he's talking about because he himself doesn't work in the area of origin of life. Somebody's got to point this thing out. So yeah, I'm very well qualified for this.